Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and what we are looking at today is Motorola's 5G mod for the Z series. Now this particular 5G mod as of now is tied into Verizon network. It is not available on any other carrier for now. It's been only announced and this is a pre-production sample means this is essentially final but it is not working as of now. Now what this mod currently only works with the Z3 and compatibility with previous generation Z devices will be announced later this year. What this now the interesting thing about the mod is that it comes with its own Snapdragon 855 chip inside. It has a 2000 milliamp hour battery and up 10 antennas which and of which four are in the millimeter wave. Now that will enable great 5G connectivity on the Verizon network. In case you're wondering whether you can buy this device, buy this uh, particular mod, buy this phone and come to any other country which has a 5G network and will it work? Probably not. Verizon definitely is locking this device down, it's locking this mod down only to their network. And if you are thinking that maybe, you know, you can get one of these mods, move to a different country and have the phone work on 5G networks, that's just not going to work. We're still gonna, we are still going to have to wait for proper 5G devices to roll out. But what is interesting is that Motorola, through their uh, modular system on the Z series, just thanks to this little port back here, has managed to bring 5G connectivity to an existing device. Now, what are the reasons why this phone, um, so what are the reasons why this mod has its own battery, it has its own processor and the X55 modem, and this is running the Qualcomm 855 is because when you have poor network, your network is going to bounce from 5G to 4G to 3G all over the place, So, which is why Motorola has built a battery into this. The 855 is going to be managing the network and essentially controlling the quality of service. In case you're wondering whether your phone will be able to leverage the 855 chip in this to have the processing go on to the phone itself, no, that is unfortunately not going to be the case you will not be getting the processing power of the 855 onto the Z3 or even any other device that uh, Motorola may launch or has launched in the past. So that's a bit disappointing. You guys are all already familiar with the Z3. Now let me just show you quickly what the mod looks like when it's put onto the phone. Um, so if you have this here and then you just, it snaps on in place and Honestly, it feels a little on the bulkier side, but given the fact that you get 5G connectivity, uh, it's pretty damn useful. Then there is, of course, a finger of uh, the power button, which is also a fingerprint sensor. And on the back, you see the Motorola Batwing logo. You see uh, these little nubs, which are essentially to help with 5G connectivity. Uh, this is not a final unit. This is just a pre-production and there are some design changes that may go into may, uh, into the final product that comes out. But yes, this is Motorola's 5G mod for the Z series. And as to when this will be coming to market, it is yet to be decided. What about the pricing, uh, about its launch date and the network compatibility beyond Verizon. All of that is yet to be determined. But we are getting a look at the first a uh, possible 5G phone in the market right now based on this mod. So are you guys excited about something like this? Would you want Motorola to roll out a 5G mod in India as well? Let us know in the comments below. So thank you guys for watching this video. In case you liked it, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button or maybe just share it with a friend who is also interested in 5G network. Thank you guys for watching.